Hello everyone, I have a hummingbird feeder that I'm going to try to update. I have a bag of buttons and I'm just going to get creative here and and add them on here and see what it looks like. I got this bag of buttons here and it's mostly cream color, different colors. And I thought it would just be really pretty. So in the sun, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hot start hot gluing them on. I'll just start around the edge here. Oh, there goes one on the floor. Whoopsie. Trying to get the ones that are as flat as is possible. Oh, this one's pretty. This one looks like abalone shell. I don't know why I've just been so feeling so creative. I'm trying to be creative. Oh man, I got the dropsies today. I have a bunch of buttons to pick up. Okay, so here is the first row. So here is the second row. It's coming along. I like, I just love buttons, and some of these buttons have an abalone shell, and I like the reflective colors that are coming off of it. And I'm just filling the gaps. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and this way. I'm just gonna do this until I run out of buttons. Hopefully I'll have enough. Sometimes I use the back side of the buttons. I think the back sides are prettier. This is going to be interesting. 
I think some of these look like shells. So I'm now a little more than half done. I didn't really buy anything for this project. I had the buttons. This, I've had the hummingbird feeder for a few years, and I had the glue gun and the glue sticks, so I didn't really have to invest any money in this project, which my husband always likes that. You know, sometimes when you go to Michael's, it can get expensive, or Hobby Lobby it can add up quick. And I have so much stuff in my in my room and storage and stuff of things I've had over the years I just hang on to. So it's good to do something with them. It's nice to repurpose things. Because sometimes we all need a change of scenery. <laughs> Something new to look at. Especially in springtime. This is springtime right now. The time that I'm doing this video. Spring. April Hummingbirds might think these are little flowers. I hope they don't try to put their beaks, their little buttonholes. I have some huge buttons here that I added on. One looks like a rose. One's a big clear one. Okay, so I ran out of buttons, so I just made a design going down with the remainder, but that's okay because I want to see when the hummingbird uh, fluid is going down, when I need to put some more in it, so that will be fine. That way I can still see through the glass. Now I'm going to get my brush here and try to get off the residual glue from the glue gun. This will loosen it and then I can pull it off. I found some more buttons, so I may add 
a few more. We'll see. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is add a few blue buttons for contrast. Okay, here's the finished product, and I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really colorful, and so I'm going to go put it together and put outside, and I'll go ahead and videotape how it looks outside with the sun hitting the buttons. <laughs> 